Bye bye baby closing store closing nothing held back uh, 10 to 40 percent on sales i'll be going in here guys to see if i can get anything for our kid because he's just a baby and he needs some stuff look at this and we need a new stroller too so i'm gonna take a look at strollers my wife he said uh he needs some mittens section all right guys so i just found out that the clothing area is 20 percent off the safety area is 40 percent off and then everything else is 10 percent off guess what i'll be getting some of these sets right now zero to six months that's perfect i'm gonna get one for baseball okay why is their head so big and like the shoes so small i don't get it Babies are like that. Okay. Let's go to safety area where they have 40% off. See if you get anything we need. A few moments later. Yeah, dang. They cleared this whole area out. Bruh, there's nothing in here. No, but they're like, if people shop like this, we're going to reopen again. Like, this is crazy, man. Let's clear it out. So, there's nothing absolutely I can get them from here. I already got cameras that we need for him. All right, guys, I just bought him all this. With all the sales and stuff like that, this is still $75. Like, what? But they just closed right now, so I left the store. I didn't get everything that I needed. Um, They didn't have any bags, so they just gave it to me like this. So they are like, we don't have any bags, by the way. So you got to take it like this. So I was like, okay, whatever. Toss that in there. Toss that in there. All right, I'm headed home now. Um, wifey has been so tired recently, just because of like the whole sleeping change. She have always woke up at six uh, or before. Actually, yeah, five thirty around five thirty is when she usually wakes up to six. And her now routine is just so different. And I've never seen her like even sleeping in the morning or like that, like like maybe once a week I see her doing that. And now she's doing it every day. Um, but I took over the night shift. So every time the baby wakes up at night, I told her if I don't hear it, cause I'm a heavy deep sleeper, just let me know so that I can get up and feed him. So last night was the first night that I took over that way her body can start recovering and uh, all she has to do during the daytime is pump uh, some milk for him so that he has enough uh, one of the things that our baby definitely needs is he needs to eat um, he needs to eat like he just needs to eat he's a healthy baby he's good but he needs to put some pound on him uh, get some muscles like daddy you know barely um, so yeah I'm gonna call her right now see if she wants any food or anything like that since I'm close by some healthy food and her body needs a lot of healthy snacks currently because of you know the breastfeeding she's just so tired and i feel so bad because i can't do nothing but kind of like help her with the baby but her body is her body you know i can't do much but help her with other things so uh, i'm doing my best to help her out um hopefully you know when i call her right now she says that she wants something to eat or whatever or else i'm just going to make the decision for her because She's just so tired. We're still packing our house, getting ready to move out in now less than 10 days. So that's crazy. So it's getting close to, you know, our closing day to our house. Uh, we just got the home insurance today. Uh, yesterday I closed in with the uh, home warranty. Uh, we're buying a house and we're gonna break down everything that we basically did as a content creator, so as, as well as um, the process of buying a house man it's not it's not simple but there is everybody designated to each thing that you need help with with you know closing the house down so it's not that hard at all actually it's just could be overwhelming if you're not ready for it uh well, we've been planning for this for years so it's just like building an image just thinking about you know um you know believe in god for it and everything that we believe that this is our next step this is not our final house uh, but we're still excited, you know, but still with the moving out with the baby and stuff like that could be a little bit overwhelming. 
Uh, she has a maternity leave from her work. She told me today that she might need a little bit more time to adjust and uh, recover uh, just because of you know what's been going on recently, not being able to sleep. Um, you know, the baby is up every two hours or so looking to eat, and that baby eat can eat, man. And praise God for that, you know. That's good that he can eat that good. So, yeah, I'm going to call her right now and see what she wants. And she wants some something healthy because I'm close by this place that we like. Um, then I'll, I'll get that for her. So, I'll take you guys with me. Wifey has picked the Southwest wrap right there. Spicy, please. Right there on the Southwest. And then I get the Eddie Oakley. This place is introduced to us by one of our friends, uh, Matia. Shout out to you. And man, this this wrap right here is my favorite one, the Andy Oakley. Fire, absolute fire. But I'm gonna try this out though since she's gonna have it. I'm gonna take a bite out of hers. Look what I got him. Onesies. Pull it up, pull it up. Beanies. Oh yeah! They look big, but the straps will help. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that little baseball set. <laughs> that's cute. Nice, huh? Oh wow. Super cute, sugar. This, this one is a little dirty. I think I'll fill a few times. We gotta watch this. Yeah, yeah, I'll wash it. So she got a, what is it called? What the heck? Why is there Cheetos right there? Because I have them from the hospital. Sorry guys, our house is a mess right now, but this is the journey that we're taking you guys. Hey, you're boiling that thing out, girl. You can sterilize it. Is that how you sterilize it? Boiling yeah. it up like that, cooking it up? Yeah, for five minutes. And put the hot water on there? Boiling water. Got it. So she got a uh, portable LV pump pump from our pastors, which we're so grateful for them. Uh, and uh, yeah, she's sterilizing it. With some sugar, right? You put some sugar? No, just water. Can I do it? 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 Yeah. So guys, to sterilize, first you gotta do boil the water. You just push it all in there. See that line? Careful, don't poke them. Don't scratch them. And don't let them sit on the bottom or else they'll burn. You gotta kind of like mix them around. Almost like food, basically. Yeah. What is that in your bra, fam? Baby chilling right next to me. And this lady is just playing around. Come here, playing around. Is it really pumping? Does it hurt? It does a little bit, yeah. It does a little bit. How much is it pumping? Is it pumping a lot? That is so cool, Beps. You can just walk around with it. Put a shirt on. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Let's see if you're if you like inside a store. You're like, damn, why are your boobs glowing? You look like an alien or something. That's the button. That's super cool. Wow. Are you kidding me? So you can literally walk around and do stuff. Yeah. Bruh, this is a game changer. I just gotta learn what? how it feels like so I know if it's pumping. I think it tells me how much it's doing. Take the how much you're pumping? Yeah. In no way. For real? You ready to eat dinner? Yeah. So it tells you how much you pump so far? Yeah, like once I reach point twenty five, I go to the next level like that. Come on, you're so cool. You're so futuristic. Lord. You asleep? Yeah. You're so pretty still. How are you this pretty? How are you Thank this a good you. looking? Thank you. I love you. I love you too. This is guys one of our rooms that's boxed up to the room. Baby is asleep. Look at him. Baby little cutie. Cutie little patootie. Hey buddy. I'm learning how to do um, DIY recording for his um, baby shoot. We're doing a DIY from the house, so I think I might feature the theme of moving out because since we're moving out, I think it'll be cool as a memory. Like, okay, we're moving out and we are using boxes and stuff like that for his shoot. I know people gonna comment like he's gonna be a UPS worker or whatever. But our little boy will appreciate it later on when he sees this. 
Um, yeah, he just knocked out. He just ate. He's fussing a little bit. Had to hold him tight. He likes being held tight or else it's hard for him to fall asleep in the way. But he enjoys getting up too. And he, he can already like hold his neck up. And this boy is four days old. How are you that strong, buddy? Uh, but he surprises me every day. He is learning. He's growing fast. And he's quick. Look at him. I just want some pictures with him. Coming soon, okay, buddy? Guess what, mama? What? Guess what? It's a good news. Guess what? He peed. No. What? Not about... Well, it's kind of about him, but... It's not about strips, like... Straight to him. Um... Somebody bought us a stroller. Somebody bought us a stroller? What do you think? You're embarrassed? Yes. No, I didn't. Yeah. Why am I crying? I don't know, this, but that's huge. They that's that's coming this Friday. Yeah. I'm crying. <laughs> it's the hormones. <laughs> Sugar, stop. That's a happy cry. Are you happy? Yeah. Say thank you to them. Thank you. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna put them in the vlog. You wanna FaceTime them? So they can see the baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna FaceTime her right now. Okay. <laughs> we can't believe y'all did that. I know. We can't believe y'all did that. Baby's really happy. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. I, he came early. We were not prepared. Oh, we were not prepared. I told you, I said, if I was your mom or something or your family, I would let you know. Let me know. <laughs> and it's crazy because you, you guessed everything almost close too, Christina. So you won the... Yeah, you won the due date thing. The due date was, uh, you said May 4th, and yours is the closest one. The pounds too. So thank you guys yeah, so much. It's a it's it's a it's an amazing thing. You guys are gonna have so much fun. <sighs> Praise Amen. the Lord. We love you guys. Bye. Love you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Oh, they're so nice. Yeah. Hey, little baby. Oh no. No crying yet. Okay, we got to shoot a video, yo. <laughs> You think you care? Hey yo. This is passive. You cannot be crying or else they would they wouldn't wanna meet you. You're gonna be like, yeah, that's a little crying baby. Here you go. I feel so like weird. Oh, my so legs weird. showing this much. Too much legs. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> my stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at his little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the baby. Hold the baby. Looks <laughs> like corn dog. <laughs> Why do babies look funny? Oh, but you're cute. I'm sorry. I don't mean no, to laugh at you. He's a cute baby, but. So sorry, buddy. The way he had his legs sticking out of like the little. <laughs> the blanket. The blanket like this. Like just his ankle down. Just his ankle. Yeah. I mean, he probably has my legs, huh? <laughs> my legs are like that? Yeah, mine too. I have skinny ankles. <laughs> Alright guys, we're your first time parent. How do you feel, mama? <sighs> By the way, we still got our wristbands and we were taking it off all together uh, on the day that he's born week of. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so he has his still. So we're going to all snap it together the day of. But how do you feel, Mama? I feel happy. Feel happy? I feel joyful. Um, it's easier now. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like the first night and second night was hard, but... Or whatever. How many, how many days have we been home? Five like days. Two days. Or we two days. We came home Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night, yes. Friday. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of getting the hang of it. Yes. Um, it's a bit challenging, you know? Yeah, because it's like we don't know a lot. Damn, my hair probably look crazy. Man, when you become a dad, you ain't got time for your hair, man. Yeah, that's why he doesn't have time. You didn't have time before. Now you really don't have time. Why my hair sticking out and looking weird? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been trying to find somebody that can do my hair. So if somebody's out here in Phoenix, please tap in. Uh, but yeah, it's weird because it's been two days and uh, we've been adjusting. So mm -hmm. um, I've been assigned for overnight shift. <laughs> She's been assigned for he, all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, he kind of volunteered, and it, it's a smart system because yeah, I get 100%. really tired at night, and he's just better at night. Mm -hmm. And like he said, I'm used to getting up in the morning, so. Yeah, she needs her sleep, and her body's recovering. Yeah. Because, you know, delivering the baby. They give you the epidural. Epidermal? Epidural. Epidural. But the epidural, you don't feel it till the baby's out, and later on, your body's getting off of it. Mm -hmm. So that, like, it hits you, huh? It hits yeah. you really hard. And it's like sore from the shot. My back is right. like very sensitive. Jeez, that thing almost had me crying. I ain't gonna lie. Huh. When they put the, when they like put it on her and her back, like it goes in her back and it's like it's a tube, right? They stick in you. It's like a needle with the tube, yeah. Like the but needle the gets it in, but it's the tube they put they inside of me. They keep there. Yeah. So the tube gives her some liquid called yeah. epidural, uh -huh. and as it keeps giving it to her, she doesn't feel anything below her. Stomach? Yeah, like my stomach down. Yeah, and they didn't even allow me to see it going inside. And I didn't want to see it in mm -hmm. a way, but I felt bad. I was like, oh, my God. And she's, like, having a... Uh, contraction. Contraction, yeah. While um, they were doing it. Yeah. So after, you know, all this stuff worn out of her body or came out of, and she started feeling it, uh, it was hard for her to go to the bathroom. Yeah, point is, since we've like gotten that. home, my body's still in recovery. Yeah. So yeah, so that's the that point. makes it a little harder to, you know, adjust to. Yes. Because I'm not used to not being able to do stuff. Yes. So like I cleaned, and then I was like, oh my gosh, like my stomach, and mm -hmm. like I just didn't feel good. Right. And I was like, okay, I need to be done, even though I wasn't done. Yeah. Like I had to sit down. And which uh, is weird. And you've been um, pumping too, so. That takes energy. Yeah. That's a lot of energy. I feel like because I don't know. It's like energy coming out of you, basically. Mm -hmm. Energy being produced, first of all, mm -hmm. or with all your body, what it does is just producing milk. On top of that, you're taking it out, so it needs to produce more. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of calories. I guess you can get skinny off of that, too. Huh? They say <laughs> like you lose a lot of weight from breastfeeding. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe it. A lot of energy being produced. So, But, the, yeah, the experience of being home is, is very different, even for me as a... I make my own hours, so that the cool thing about it is that I make my own hours. If I had a full-time job, that would have been so super hard. Oh my gosh. Because dudes usually don't get maternity leave. Yeah, like usually, it's just the, the, just mom, the mom having yeah. to do it. I can't imagine doing it without him. Like, yeah. I, I don't think I'd be able to. And I think our goal is to get, of course, in a good routine to where the baby is in a good routine as well. He wakes up, eats at overnight, and goes mm -hmm. to sleep. Right. And so on a daytime, I think we need to start figuring out how to a little bit keep him up so that not night time he actually sleeps. Because yeah. sometimes like yesterday, for example, at 4 a.m., he was just straight up. Even after he fed, he was up for a he while. He was up? Yeah. Oh, wow. He was, he was up for a while. Uh, and so the more he's up in the daytime, the more he, I believe, he will sleep at nighttime. Right now, I think his rotation is different because he was born at 2 a.m. Or, yeah, 2.20 a.m., mm -hmm. 2.19. So... Yeah, so adjustments is very crazy, and I know you guys want to see the baby, and uh, we mentioned that um, we're we going to reveal the baby on a day when we do DIY maternity, uh, DIY newborn photo shoot at the house. Yeah. Uh, 
I am thinking about taking them to a studio though, but I'm gonna do it all uh, ourselves. We're gonna do it all ourselves, even if we go to a studio, basically. Yeah. But, we just rent a space. Uh, yeah, like uh, I will say a little bit of equipment for like, because photography lighting is a little bit different than mm -hmm. video lighting. Um, so yeah, so as far as that goes, it's been a very crazy journey. What's been the hardest uh, for you as far as like adjusting from being just parents, no, being just married couple <laughs> to being parents, three of us now. I feel like the breastfeeding the hardest. The breastfeeding? <laughs> yes, the breastfeeding has been the hardest part, I Why? feel like, since coming home. That, um, that breastfeeding, people don't talk about that really, huh? No. I, I thought breastfeeding was as simple as milk. I thought it out. was going to be so easy, and like our friends are so good at it. Yeah, they are. So I thought it'd be like much easier than mm -hmm. it has been. I didn't know it'd be this hard. Yeah, I think um, I started realizing it was hard. And I don't know, feeds start popping up too on my screen, saying like, as a first time born, a mother. Like, stuff that they give you tips to do. Because, mm. like, all of my page have turned to, like, baby page, basically. Mm. Like, all of my like algorithm. algorithm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's been the hardest. It's definitely easier now. The first day, oh, my gosh. I cried so much. I went through so much. That, that first night we came home, I was up all night trying to do it. <laughs> yeah, she was crying that day. Like, <laughs> it was so hard. Yeah. And, and the next day got better. I didn't. But. Yeah, I didn't know too. Like, I thought milk comes out prior even to having a boy or to having a baby because your body's getting like ready. getting ready. Oh. But I guess the baby had to suck out first the colostrum. 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 I don't know. It is and so it many comes things. out very little. Yeah. So it's not very filling for him. So he wouldn't get full. Mm-hmm. And plus, he's smaller, so it takes more energy for him to suck, suck it on. out. Yeah. So he gets frustrated. He was probably barely getting anything at the hospital until yes. we gave him formula. Until we, we decided to give him formula. Yeah. And, uh, originally, we didn't want to give him yeah, formula. Yeah, we really didn't. I tried so hard to not to, but yeah. he wasn't being nourished enough. He wasn't so. eating at all. And when we went to visit pediatrician, you guys seen in the last uh, video or the one before, um, where he lost, I think, a like a, an ounce mm -hmm. uh, or two ounces or so so he weighed less which is normal yeah but uh, from here the doctor said that he has to gain more weight so like a pound a week yeah and then we had done some researches too to find out how much you should be eating how much you should be pooping you know the diapers change peeing and stuff like that and so mm -hmm. he needs to step it up a little bit or we need to step it up a little bit mm -hmm. he's good because he's just dependent on us so we have to yeah. do the job for him right now so, like, I've been breastfeeding from me all day, and I'm basically pumping all day, too. Yeah, on top um, of that. Because he, he can only breastfeed for, like, 30 minutes, and then he's tired because mm -hmm. it's just exhausting for him. So, after that, um, and he only gets so much because the bottle's easier because it just drips out versus he has to, like, suck out yes. when he's breastfeeding. Um, so, he does that. Like, I do that for him, like, every hour, probably, mm -hmm. or every hour and a half. I'll breastfeed him, mm -hmm. and then in the times in between, I'm pumping, or wherever he's, whichever when he's not drinking from, I'm pumping. Mm -hmm. um, so at night he can feed him, and yeah. so I feel like that's been the most challenging. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on getting him fed, because mm -hmm. it's like um, if I start thinking about like, well, how am I gonna do this when I work, or it's just gonna stress me out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to focus on like where we're at right now, because if I start trying to plan. Like days where we're out and about, like church days or days at work, it's gonna, it's gonna stress me out. Well, we gotta plan those things, but I know, but it's like it's I not wanna a focus good time on getting right now. this yeah. together. This is first. just too early. Yeah, it's too early. And too we early. have planned, we have talked about it previously. We just need to, um, now that he's here, of course, it's different because our, yeah. our expectation was not what we are going through, basically, mm -hmm. in a way. Right. Because you just don't know till you know. But, uh, for me, the hardest part probably be, um, I guess, the scheduling. Um, just figuring out his schedule, mm -hmm. uh, learning the, the learning curves um, of a newborn baby is different. Uh, it's not like you know you meet your nephew or whatever. You don't see him for a few months or weeks, uh -huh. and then you see him again. You like you can just like play with them or whatever. It's not like that. It's just like literally this baby is dependent on you. So yeah, twenty four seven. Um, just and I mean, I, I feel like I have 
my body is ready for what is, what is happening right now mm -hmm. because of uh, I've been just getting up, you know, every three hours or so at night uh, if I end up sleeping uh, to get them some, you know, bottle, uh, burp them, and then, of course, change the diaper if a diaper needs to be changed and then go back to sleep or, you know, if I have some things to do, I do. But after like a certain hour, my body just shuts down too. It just goes to sleep and I don't even hear him crying. She's pretty good at hearing him crying, so... She's like, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. time to get up. <laughs> but it's been like a, a challenge that's fun. That's uh, that's going to make me even better in life. I feel like, like yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah, because you've been up from like, I'd say maybe midnight or 1 a.m. until like 8, maybe 9. Yeah, like back. With uh, him. Just taking a nap or here mm -hmm. and there. I've been up. And if then he's asleep. When yeah. she gets up and like she's going uh she uh she takes over and then i get to sleep a little bit more in the mm -hmm. mornings uh but i mean that's fun i'll do this every day like mm -hmm. i don't <laughs> to be honest with you but of course like uh i have you know different things that i have to take care of as well so that this family is good right um and so i guess we'll see when that happens because i pushed everything that i was supposed to do this week to next week or so so we will see next week it will be a different time and we update you guys like one week update. Uh, this is of course newborn update. Mm -hmm. We'll do like a one week update, two weeks update, three weeks update, four weeks. We want to do like a thirty day uh, day in the life of basically having a baby and also moving out. Uh, what all that looks like. Yeah, we're moving out. So um, <laughs> it's gonna be a little rougher as the days go by because that's the thing. It's a challenge. Uh, so mm -hmm. we want to invite you guys to watch our video, subscribe to our channel, not just subscribe, but like. If you guys in the future will go through something like this, you guys can learn from us. Uh, and if you guys have already gone through it, you guys can give us advices that works for you. Yeah, don't wait last minute to pack your bag. <clears throat> huge, and, huge. But it's also because we're moving. Like, we had everything everywhere. Like, we organized it to the best of our ability. Like, okay, baby stuff in this room. Mm -hmm. But everything's in, like, kind of in boxes. Mm -hmm. And, like, I packed most of my clothes because I thought I'd be pregnant until we got into our new house. Right. So now I need to like go back and like, so like I'm kind of finding things as we need them, mm -hmm. which is, you know, kind of stressful. Right. So, or stretchful. Stretchful. Yeah. So we don't say stressful. Yeah. So we've like been um, putting things in areas like that yeah. we need for the baby. All his stuff is good though. So and yeah, like that's we, the most important part for us. We that really stuff appreciate established. Yeah. We really appreciate the people that, you know, giving us like, I oh, see why yeah. baby showers are very important. Yeah. Because I'm like, I mean, all of the stuff that we got is probably over like $3,000. Yeah, and it, it really helped. And it really, you know? really helps. And we just got today a LV pump, and it's like a portable pump that yeah. plugs I in on her boobs. And I'll put the clip right here of her testing it out. Mm -hmm. And shout out to our pastors. Um, yeah. Like, like, this thing is amazing. Yeah, because I don't know if the... Because the pump I have, I got from my insurance. And so it's one you have to plug into the wall. But I have to, like, mm -hmm. hold them there. Um, yeah, this right here. That's it. And it works good. It's not, like, a terrible brand. But it's, like, it's so uncomfortable to have to sit there and hold it. And then it's, like, and it's I'd like be, it doesn't stick there, too. It doesn't stick there. So it's, like, if I'm breastfeeding him on this side, I'd have to be holding with my hand on the other side. So I'm just kind of like so uncomfortable <laughs> and it's just hard. Versus, Versus this, this one, thing, it's like geez. pumping like crazy and I was able to do stuff well. And it looks so good. Like it looks it. like futuristic stuff. Yeah. It's like an apple. Of, we were talking about it. We were saying it's the like apple, the of, apple breast of breastfeeding. Breast 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 pumps. Yeah. Sheesh, but man. So the gifts, we really appreciate. So yeah. everything has been coming in clutch. You see the little bass in there right there. Mm -hmm. Um, we got like a little thing that somebody giving us out. We opened it. What's their name? Andrew? Yeah. It's Andrew and, the, and Amanda. And Amanda. My uncle. And they us. gave us, shout out to them. Uh, they gave us a little case holder like in a, the house that we can use. A caddy. A caddy. It's a caddy. It's called a caddy. Mm -hmm. That we can use, you know, for little diapers and uh, his burpee we can put in one section. And we could just move it from one place to another place. And Yeah. So we're just, not like, where are the wives? Yeah. yeah. Like, and he's crying because he doesn't want to cold. Yeah. We got like almost everything we need. Yeah. I'm even looking at like the, uh, the baby holder. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. That's I was thinking about that. I was like, did anybody get us that? And we already got it. Yeah. And so we really appreciate everybody that came through. And it's not just our friends and family. People like you guys came through too. Yeah. So thank you guys so much, man. There's mm -hmm. so many things that we got in that uh, 
that we didn't even think we need till the time came. So yeah, big facts. Like I yeah. So shout out to you guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much. But this is a uh, update for a newborn. Um, we both. She's tired. I'm. You guys can see. I'm ready to knock it out because. This is a nice shift for me, so mm-hmm. I'm energized <laughs> and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, anything else you want to add to baby? Uh, I guess the question is now, how does it feel to be a parent? Like this is your own child, because we're we made this baby. Mm-hmm. Well, you cooked them. I put some recipe in there. <laughs> how do you feel, Mama? This is your kid. It feels. You know, I feel capable. That's how I feel. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Capable of raising them up? Mm-hmm. And being a mom. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she... At one time, she had uh, cried, actually. Uh, I can put the clip right here <laughs> of her not feeling like she uh, was worth, mm-hmm. you know, raising a kid and having a baby. Look how cute he is. Um, and, um, and so it was kind of tough at first, of course, uh, for us or for her, I would say, mm-hmm. trying to comprehend that. And for me, it was just more so towards, um, when are we going to get this baby? And she's like the opposite of that, basically. So it was just like, we had to meet, you know, in the middle, mm-hmm. kind of like to decide to have him. So we decided 2023, this is our original plan. And I mean, it's happening. Mm-hmm. So to me, it's just like a manifestation of our love in a way. Mm-hmm. But not a manifestation, but I would say a product of our love. Mm-hmm. And he's just so sweet, you know? Yeah. So hairy and sweet. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's there's a few things that we've been saying over his life. Mm-hmm. And uh, those are peaceful, peaceful loving, loving, and joyful. joyful. And we add what? Strong. strong. Yeah. And um, he is strong. He is so strong. He is joyful. He is loving. And he's so peaceful. And he's so peaceful. Uh, If you need something, he lets you know. And his baby words. (laughs) And you just got to get it to him. And we've been also, in a way, practicing a little bit of discipline as far as like, like he wasn't trying to eat off of her boobs at all. He wasn't trying to do that at all because he got used to the little... The formula nipple. Formula things. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's a... The third night or the fourth night or the third night. It was our first night home. First night home, yeah. The we, we were like, okay, he got to get he got to get used to it, or we have to figure out a way to do it. Mm-hmm. And so, he did a few times, and then we figured out that it's better for him with the suction thing that you. Yeah, I have a nipple guard. Nipple guard, and that's key too, guys. Um, yeah. I feel like that changed the game for you. Oh yeah, it did because it it makes it easier for him to latch on. Yeah. Um, just because I guess, I don't know if my nipple's too big or too soft, but it's just hard for him to suck from. Yeah, I think it's too soft so. in a way. And, and these, you need more strength. Mm-hmm. And thank God for our pediatrician. Yeah, she, she knows, was super nice and like, super helpful. Like everything she was saying is just... Like click, it, ex- click. it explains so much for us because I thought there was something wrong with the way I was doing it. Yeah. Like I was like, what the heck? Like yeah. I watched, like I stayed up all night that night watching so many videos, mm-hmm. and I texting and like trying to learn, like what the heck am I missing? Like yeah. she knocked it down, like the pediatrician. I think she answered a lot of my questions, and so yeah. and she did say that to use nipple guard. Mm-hmm. And she answered questions I didn't even know I had. Yeah. Like I didn't know there's a reason why. He wasn't. It's it's been so hard, yeah. you know. And so yeah, so we've been adjusting as parents, new time parents. Mm-hmm. I think we're super excited and uh, yeah, ready to raise this kid in the, mm-hmm. in the way of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Raise a kid, raise a child in the way they should go. What time they grow from it? What time they grow, they shall not depart from it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, we really love you guys and appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe. Like. Follow. Comment. Share. If you want to see this little cute face. Stay tuned.